Yo, what's up guys, Omsky here, back with another Road to Division 1. This time I'm going to pound through this division, I'm going to get through it. I want to play 5 matches because that's what it'll take if I get 2 draws in order for me to get to the next division, which would be Division 5 from the top of my head. But I have noticed something guys, every time I sit down, right, and I hit Audacity, and I... I'm just about to click record. I realize something. I realize something. I always have goddamn phlegm in my mouth. And it's like... And I'm trying to get the shit out of my mouth. And it just don't go out of my mouth. It's like... I know why though. It's because I drink so much Monster. So today, I got myself a bottle of water. Hopefully you guys heard that. Blue Snowball, it should have picked that up. It's apparently a good mic. But okay, so, story time guys, story time. Hopefully this story will last the whole nine minutes. But it's a good story. And it's all about my trip down to Derby last Saturday to go watch the match. So okay, match day. I don't know whether I'm going to the match, but my friends are leaving at half one. That's the time the train is there. So okay. 12 o'clock. Mum. Mommy! I need the money! I wanna go to the match! Please, can I borrow some money? Wait! It's a Saturday. I've just realised. Oh yeah, baby. I get my carer's allowance today because if you guys don't know, I look after my granddad. So that's why I sometimes don't stream or sometimes my uploads are at weird times. It's because I'm taking care of my granddad or I'm ill myself. But mainly it's because I'll be looking after my granddad and stuff. But okay, so I realise I don't need the money. My carer's allowance has come through. Yes, on a Saturday, which it should. But okay, so, one second. Monsters, man. But okay, so. I'm ready. I've decided I'm going to the match. It's 12 o'clock and shit is going down. And I'm thinking, I'm always late. And this time, I've got to get the train. So, I can't be late to this. I really just can't be late. And, so, you know, I make my mum rush. I'm rushing myself. I get my rail card. So, because I'm taking the train down to Derby. And I'm like, right, I'm here. I'm at the train station. It's one o'clock. I've got half an hour till my train. Yes. Do you know what? I'm feeling kind of hungry. So, I walk into Tesco. Pick myself up a BLT sandwich. Mmm. Grab myself a can of monster because I need the energy to shout all day and go hard. Right? So, I've got it. I've got my monster in my hand. I got my sandwich in the other. And I'm thinking, right, I can't feel my wallet. Shit. So, I grab it. I'm like, I put everything to the side and I'm panicking. Like, I can't have forgot my wallet. I cannot have forgot my wallet because it takes like 20 minutes to drive all the way back to my house from the train station and then it'll probably take another 20 minutes just to get back. It should take about 10 but there's a lot of traffic. So I'm thinking, oh hell no. Hell no. I ain't got time for that. Like, ain't nobody got time for this or that. I mean, it's that but I know. I'm just like thinking, damn son. What are you gonna do? Right, and I'm thinking, oh wait. My NatWest app. I can take out monies without me card. And then so I pull my phone out, right? And then I realize, she, my old phone number is connected to the mobile app. So what they do is they text you a code that you put into a cash point in order to take your money out. And I'm thinking, shit, I've not changed my phone number since I got a new phone number. Damn. What the hell am I supposed to do? So I ring my mom like, mom, um, how you doing? I know you kind of just dropped me off, but I've got a favour to ask you. She was like, You forgot your wallet! No, she doesn't actually speak like that, but... She was like, Damn, son! You forgot your wallet! And I'm thinking, Yeah, mama! I'm sorry! But I want to go to the marriage, mama! And my mama's like, Mmm! 
How could you do this to me? My mom, my mom was born in Uganda. She doesn't speak with the Ugandan accent, but you know, she was like, how could you do this to me? You make me spend all this money on the petrol. You make me drive you all the way to the train station. And then you forget your wallet and expect me to drive all the way back home and come all the way back here. I don't know why I went slightly Jamaican at the end of that, but you know, why go on? So yeah. And I'm just like, Mama, but I love you. Like, I need my money. I, I want to go to the match, Mama. I'm good luck for my team. I'm like the brown mascot. I am the brown mascot. Like, I will go there. And I'm going with like one other brown girl, but and, uh, this dude is white. But I'm like, I'm the brown mascot, Mama. I'm going to be like the only brown there. And obviously I'm not, but... That's what I, you know, me and my mom had this like nice friendly banter relationship. So, my mom's like, okay, only on one condition, you promise never to do this again. And I'm like, mama, I won't. I promise, I, I ain't ever gonna do this again. So, my mom like drives all the way there. She drives all the way back, right? And I'm thinking, nah, son, I got 15 minutes on the train. I gotta do something here, so I'm thinking, wait, my account number, my sort code, it's on my app. It takes seven minutes to walk to NatWest, roughly. It takes about ten, roughly, but I must say seven to make this more dramatic. It takes about seven minutes to walk to the train station. To NatWest, even. I can do this. I can do this. I can run! Yeah! Brown boy can run! But I've never scored a goal with Frank Rubery. This is why I'm selecting Rubery to take this penalty. And I still have never scored with Rubery. So, I'm thinking I can do this! I got, I got, what, 15, 20 minutes on the train? I got this! Mama, I got this! I told you what, Mama, you go! You try and grab the wallet and drive back here. I'm gonna run into NatWest and try and get this money out. If I can, then you don't need to pick me up. She was like, son, that is a good idea. You should do that. And I'm thinking, yes. My mom, she just actually, she just gave me a compliment. So I run all the way to the bank. I'm there and there's a queue of five people in front of me. And I'm thinking, she is. I'm in a bank, and there's five people in front of me, five people! Now, we all have been in a bank queue, we know how long this takes, trust me, it's not like a play date. So, I get there, four people down, I'm next, or five people down, I'm next. About seven minutes till my train, again, seven minutes. Probably, it was, it was actually about, uh, I think it was 10 minutes. Because it took me like 10 minutes, like 5 minutes to get down in the queue. Because it was actually quite a quick queue. But, I was like, shit! I only got 7 minutes! Wait! I have no form of ID. I have my account number, I have my sort code. That's fine if I want to put money in my bank. I can't take money out, right? So, I'm thinking, shit, I've got to run back here, because if my mum, like, gets to the train station and I'm not there, I've not even got my wallet here. So, I run, I go back to the train station. It takes me three and a half minutes, because I'm running like a same boat on crack. Which wouldn't actually be that fast. Okay. I'm running like a same boat after, um, man with a KFC bucket. Right? No racial, guys. No racial. Not racist if I say no racial. So, I get there, right? This is nearly over, so I'm gonna hurry this up now. So, I'm running back, I see my mum drive across me, I'm like, yes! I run to the window, I grab my wallet! Run all the way back, right? Get my ticket, there's a dude in front of me, and I've got like four minutes on my train right now, right? Because at 34 past, I realise, not 35, and I'm there at half past on the dot. So, I get my wallet, I get my money, right? I pay for the damn thing, I run down, guess what? I realise the train is delayed by another 15 minutes. So guys, that's the story. I actually did last me the whole episode and I hope you did enjoy that. If you did, 
please drop this video with a like. You know, comment whether you did or didn't enjoy the uh, story. If you did, I've got a few more that I could tell you from the past. So, if you did like this, guys, you know, drop it a like and let me know. And if you're new to this, then please do subscribe. And guys, I'm going to catch you tomorrow with a Pokemon episode with my Fire Red playthrough episode 2 as well as Wolves Road to Redemption. So this has been Ormsky. Peace out!